Good evening there, YouTube. <clears throat> Hope everybody's having a fine Friday. Uh, I don't have much of anything to say today. So I thought I'd make a video about it, I guess. I do have one thing I want to say, and that's thank you. And uh, that thank you is for Wes, old khakis. He did a giveaway recently where he was uh, asking us what we thought about when we smoked a pipe. <clears throat> and uh, my name was drawn, along with a couple other people. And Wes, being the generous guy he is, just kind of made everybody a winner, I think, in that contest which I think is extremely nice. He didn't have to do that. He didn't have to give away anything to start with, but he did. I'm smoking some Balkan something or other from my local and smoking it out of a Dr. Grabo Grand Duke. Which, uh, I very much appreciate this gift as well. This was from Heisenberg. Anyway, I know a lot of people have seen the tampers that Wes has given away, <clears throat> but they haven't seen mine, so <laughs> thought I would share that with you. They come in a, he made them out of um, some reclaimed wood from a sunken yacht and some reclaimed brass I believe as well from a sunken yacht and from a day at the range anyway they look like this they have a very heavy um, I don't know what it's called like a nautical boat kind of varnish on them and they just look fantastic that was probably a railing or something like that off a boat, I don't know. But, uh, they just look great. And then, and all the ones I've seen are just a little bit different from each other, the shape of them or whatever. And this is mine. Get out of the way so it'll focus there. It came with a I saw somebody else was a 380 auto. This is a 40 Smith & Wesson. Little focus on it. Well, that's that. So that's the brass that was reclaimed from the range, I believe. This is the scraper, or scoop, or shovel, or whatever you call it. That was made out of, um, I don't know, some louvers or something like that, or, or blinds on a window, from what I understand. Anyway, no caliber on that one. You wouldn't want to get stuck in the eye with it, but anyway, thank you very much, Wes. Uh, he sent me a little note along that with that too, uh, thanking me for entering the contest and hoping that I enjoy the tamper set, and I most certainly will. I appreciate that a great deal. Uh, I appreciate the giveaway and the history behind that prize um, more than anything that's just you didn't have to do that and I think it's a great way to share stuff with the community that you come up with and uh, I appreciate it I'm not tamping my gray bow with it at the moment because I know he wants them to be used, probably, but at this point in time, I just can't uh, can't stick it down in ash. I will. They'll be used. A lot of people have them sitting on their desk and stuff like that. Mine will be used. I don't have a desk. Other than that, <clears throat> I don't have a whole lot to say.
last, I think it was last Saturday, I was sitting out here, and there was a big leaf over on the side of my house. At least I thought it was a leaf. It turned out to be an insect of some kind that I had never seen before. It was about as long as the stem on that pipe. It's about three inches long, probably. Looked kind of like a grasshopper when you looked at it up close. I took some um, some high quality pictures of it with my camera. Probably going to try to post a couple of those up in this video, either here where I'm talking about it or at the end. Anyway, it turned out, once I researched it, it turned out to be uh, a katydid. I've heard of katydids my whole life, but I had never seen one. So I was pretty fascinated with it. I took a little video on my phone with it, too. Uh, at that point, I didn't know what it was. I may include that in here as well. It's, um, really a very interesting, cool little creature, the katydid. And uh, I have no idea how it found its way to my backyard. I've never seen one. And uh, it hung out. It stayed out here for about six hours before I noticed it was gone. I like doing macro photography. I also like doing nature photography, so if I ever get the chance to do some macro nature photography, I'm just in hog heaven, and uh, this was a, one of those chances. <clears throat> I appreciate all the comments and things I've gotten recently on several of my videos. Uh, you guys make me feel loved. and. <laughs> I appreciate that so much. There's quite a few of you that comment on just about every single thing I do. And, uh, it lets me know somebody's watching, and I appreciate it. I hope somebody gets something out of it. Um, last video I did was a VR to Marshall Bailey, <clears throat> and I can tell who watched it all the way to the end. Uh, from the comments and I appreciate those of you that did what else what's going on I've been um, I'm not one to get on here and complain too much but so maybe I'll forego saying what I was gonna say <clears throat> been having some problems with my back I'll just put it at that so anyway it's like uh, my new friend Phil told me any day that you're not looking at the bottom side of a daisy is a good day and I agree with that Made quite a few new friends on Voxer recently, too. I would really enjoy chatting with you guys who I haven't chatted with yet. I've got a few of you into my contacts list, but I haven't made contact with you yet. So, you know, if I show up in your phone notification sometime soon, just saying hi, just wanting to get to know some people. recently had a, a really good chat with uh, Phil and it was uh, it was a really good conversation because it wasn't wasn't the kind of conversation you might expect to have with him and uh, it was we were just two guys talking like two guys ran into each other in the street said hey what's up and just struck up a conversation about stuff that we enjoy and uh, 
It was a it was a good talk. <clears throat> and I see where uh, a couple of you guys that are following me have joined one of my chats. Not my chats, but a chat I'm involved with. Big Hippo. Haven't had the chance to speak to you yet, but I'm looking forward to it. Um, Alex George. I kind of look forward to talking to him as well. Those Aussies down there. <laughs> you guys crack me up and entertain me quite a bit. Uh, and I, I really do look, look forward to getting to know you a little bit better. Like Tennessee Bull told me, speaking to somebody, <clears throat> called him a nut. And uh, I agreed. <laughs> nut to us old southern boys is a compliment, so don't take it the wrong way. It's like Barney, Barney Fife used it in a little different context. He's a nut. Who is he talking about? Ernest T. Bass, I believe. <clears throat> anyway, I won't keep you guys too much longer. It's, this is already over 11 minutes. I just wanted to say thanks to some folks, and I look forward to meeting some new folks. If you're on Voxer, seriously, look me up. Uh, say hi. You don't have to sit there and talk for 30 minutes if you got something going on. Just, just hi. You can even put a little text message in there. I'll do that too. <clears throat> Let her go out again. All right, so everybody have a good weekend. In case you haven't noticed recently, I still don't have a tagline. But, uh, I think I stopped working on that. All the good ones are taken anyway. Derek Tant's got to smell my beard. Derek smell mine buddy <laughs>